Hello and welcome. In this video, I explain to you what logistic regression is and how you can calculate it online. And we get started right now. In the previous videos, we talked about linear regression. In a linear regression, the dependent variable is metric, for example, salary or body height. Whenever you want to use a categorical variable as your dependent variable, you must use a logistic regression. So an example could be that you want to predict if an employee has a risk of getting a burnout or not. So your dependent variable would be burnout risk, yes or no. In order to predict your dependent variable burnout risk, you could use the educational attainment of the person, the weekly working hours and the age of the employee. So the question now is, what is a logistic regression? A logistic regression is a special case of regression analysis and it is calculated whenever the dependent variable is nominally or ordinarily scaled. Let's look at some examples. First, we have a business example. The business example could be that for an online retailer, you need to predict which product a particular customer is most likely to buy. In order to do this, you receive a data set with past visitors and their purchases from the online retailer. A second example is a medical one. You want to investigate whether a person is at risk of a certain disease or not. For this purpose, you receive a data set with deceased and non-deceased people as well as other medical parameters. The third example is a political example. Your question could be, would a person vote for party A if there were elections next weekend? All of these examples have in common that in each case the dependent variable has the characteristics yes or no. Let's take a deeper look in what logistic regression is. First, it is important to know that dichotomous variables with 0 and 1 or yes or no can be predicted by using a logistic regression. In a logistic regression, the probability of occurrence of characteristic 1, which is the characteristic present or yes, is estimated. Let's look at an example in the field of medicine. Here a common goal is to find out which variables have an impact on a disease. In this case, zero could stand for not deceased and one would be deceased and the influence of age, gender, smoking status and behaviors on the particular disease could be examined. So here we can see this example in a graph. On the left side we see the independent variables age, gender and smoking status. And on the right side we have our dependent variable which is disease, yes or no. And we want to use our independent variables in order to predict whether a person gets a disease or doesn't get the disease. So the question now is, why can we not just use a linear regression? A linear regression would just draw a straight line through the data points. The graph shows that values between plus and minus infinity can occur. The goal of logistic regression is to estimate the probability of occurrence, not the value of the variable itself. The range of values for the prediction is restricted to the range between 0 and 1. Since only values between 0 and 1 are possible, the logistic function f is used. So therefore I will show you what the logistic function is. The logistic model is based on the logistic function. The important thing about the logistic function is that only values between 0 and 1 are possible. So if we have plus infinity, the logistic function would result in 1. And if we have minus infinity, 
the logistic function would result in zero. This is the equation for the logistic function. So the logistic function is 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power of minus z. And for z we insert the equation of the linear regression. So this is the final equation for the logistic regression. Now the task is to determine the coefficients b1 up to bk and a. Of course, this is done by the statistical software. You don't have to do it yourself. And I will show you now how you can easily do it online. In order to do this, please visit datadep.net and click on the statistics calculator. If you want to use your own data, just click on clear table. I will use the example data now. So we want to perform a regression. That's why we open the tab Regression. On the left side, you can choose your dependent variable. If you want to perform a logistic regression, you have to choose a categorical variable. This could be gender, place of residence, company, academic degree. On the right side, you can choose your independent variables. Once you chose your variables, the results of the logistic regression will automatically appear here below. Thanks for watching and bye.